You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The National Assembly of the Kingdom of Cambodia has hosted the 11th Asia-Europe Parliamentary Partnership meeting on Tuesday. Leaders and parliamentarians from over 30 countries have gathered at the event, which is being held under the theme of strengthening parliamentary partnership for peace and sustainable development in the era of COVID-19 and beyond. EAC news reporter Ria Soka has the story. Cambodia is proudly hosting the Asia-Europe meetings for this month of November. On Tuesday, Cambodia hosts the 11th Asia-Europe Parliamentary Partnership meeting. The ASEP-11 is an important part of the 13th Asia-Europe meeting, which Cambodia will also host at the end of November. ASEP-11 focuses on the cooperation between Asia and Europe and strengthening partnerships to promote peace, security, and sustainable social progress. President of the Senate, Sai Chum, says that the Asia-Europe meeting currently represents 65% of the world economy, 55% of global trade, 75% of world tourism, and 60% of the world's population. He says both in the framework of bilateral and multilateral cooperation, the Asia-Europe partnership has made significant contributions to reducing poverty in the least developed countries and developing countries, as well as contributing to the maintenance of peace, security, and stability. The Senate president has stated several callings to the participating leaders and institutions. He has urged all parties to promote peaceful dialogue based on respect for international law and sovereignty independence and non-interference in internal affairs to find a win-win solution, national unity, and global unity. During the opening remarks, President of the National Assembly, Hing Samren, says that parliaments need to continue promoting the culture of dialogue and values of peace in resolving such issues through key parliamentary diplomacy mechanisms, including preventive diplomacy. He has stressed on ensuring long-term peace by promoting shared prosperity, social justice, governance, human rights, and values of democracy. Prime Minister Hun Sen highlights the pandemic situation. He says the COVID-19 has changed the norms and behaviors of people's lives, which can be considered as a test of the commitment between Asia and Europe to maintain a trustworthy cooperation. The Prime Minister has said that the strong cooperation of the Asia-Europe partnership will enable to live and recover from this global crisis together without abandoning any country. Cambodia's Prime Minister has also emphasized in the global peace and security, describing it as under pressure and increasingly difficult to predict due to increasing geopolitical competition. He has said that the geopolitical lines are already being drawn and pressured small states to choose a political agenda that does not reflect the will and interests of their nation. Prime Minister Hun Sen has encouraged the leaders and partners at the ASEP-11 to continue to uphold the values of peace and to explore the necessary mechanisms to achieve the goal. Reyes Soko, EAC News.